Hi, everybody. This is Pastor Susan, and welcome to another week of devotions. Um, I'm outside enjoying God's wonderful creation, and um, this week we're going to be focusing on one of the seven habits of highly effective disciples. Now, let me give you just a little disclaimer. All of these habits um, originally come from Stephen Covey's Seven Habits for Highly Effective People. And uh, while that book was written basically for the um, professionals uh, and business and that kind of thing, um, I have found these habits as being transformative in my own life and in my family and as well as in my relationships with our staff. Since uh, January, we've actually been studying um, this book and what these habits can mean for our lives and for our relationships. And, um, and so I thought it would be a really neat thing to do a sermon series based on the seven habits and thinking about them with relationship to our uh, lives with God, our spiritual lives, but lives that are lived out um, in community. And so today we're going to be starting with habit number one, and that is to be proactive, to be proactive. And I don't know if you've ever uh, thought about what that word proactive means, but um, it's there's a definition for it. If I can find it where I wrote it down. Oh, here it is. Fell off my lap. Um, so a proactive person acts in advance to deal with an unexpected difficulty. So proactive is thinking about ahead far enough that you are being, uh, you are anticipating difficult circumstances and you are doing something about that. It's based upon principles and values. Now what's the other side of proactive? It's reactive where you just re react to everything that happens in your life rather than thinking ahead and being prepared uh, for when life's difficulties come. So I wanna read a passage of scripture today uh, that comes from Matthew's Gospel. It's the Sermon on the Mount. And we're going to be looking at verses 24 through 27 of chapter seven in Matthew's Gospel. Listen to these words. These are very, very familiar words. Jesus says, everyone who hears these words of mine and acts on them will be like the wise man who built his house on rock. The rain fell, the floods came, the winds blew and beat on that house, but it did not fall because it was founded on rock. And everyone who hears these words of mine and does not act on them will be like a foolish man who built his house on sand. The rain fell and the floods came and the winds blew and beat against that house and it fell and great was its fall. So Jesus is using this, um, this metaphor of building um, on rock or sand to talk about the person who's being proactive and the person who's being reactive. The one who's being proactive is thinking about what, do, what am I gonna need when those difficult times come? And Jesus says, everyone who hears my words and acts on them. So how is this being um, applied to your life and to mine? So what are the words of Jesus? Go back <laughs> and listen and read them. If you have a, a red letter Bible, that, that would be a great place to start, looking at all the things that Jesus said because the words and the teachings and the actions of Jesus um, show us a pathway forward in ways that we can build our house proactively, our spiritual house, so that when the things come, which they will, the storms and the rains and the difficulties will come into our lives. But if you and I have been acting proactively, um, and so how does that happen? How does that happen? Well, spiritual practice is one of the ways that we can become proactive because if we are doing these things, if we're starting our day, with devotion or with reading or with prayer and all of those. Think about how that impacts the rest of your life. Because if you do that and make that a part of your regular practice every single day, your life, when those storms come, and believe you me, they will come to all of us. 
um, your life will be able to withstand. If not, a lot of people, you know, we, we say we believe, we listen, we hear the words, but we don't act on them. We don't do the things that Jesus did. And when those difficult times come, we are unable to stand. So today, I'd like to challenge us to think about one way today that we can be proactive in spiritual practice. And so thank you for joining me today, but not just to listen to these words, think about one thing that you can do that will help you to be proactive in your life, in your spiritual life, so that you will be prepared, no matter what the challenge, to remain faithful, to be strong, and to know God's grace. May it be so in your life, may it be so in mine today, as we are proactive in practicing our faith. Amen and amen. Mm -hmm.